Hello everyone, it's great to see you. This is our fifth and final lesson and my name's Mike. Who have we got here? We've got Fred. Hello. We've got Costas. Hello. And we've got Tim. Hi. And hey, we had great fun at the beginning there. Um, we were doing something different we haven't done before this week. Um, Tim, can you tell us what were you doing? What's it called? Well, it's called what it is. Because if you had to give a name to this, what would you call it? I'd call it a rumble, and that's what it's called, because it's called what it is, right? So you might as well call the thing what it is. So when everybody plays a rumble, basically we play quickly, because you can have a loud rumble and you can have a quiet rumble, but it's always played fast. So, so that's a rumble. And what we did was we rumbled, and while we were rumbling, there were a few different things going on, which Mike is going to tell you about, I think. Yeah, yeah, I am, yes. So, yeah, we were rumbling basically as fast as we can. But then, do you notice we had some different sounds playing? Now, what I did with this hand, um, I put my thumb on the side, hopefully you can see that, put my thumb there, and I basically pushed quite hard into the surface of my drum and then brought it up like that. It's almost like I'm trying to sort of push something, slide something on my drum, they can hear that doesn't make too much sense but when I do it and I tap at the same time do you hear that it goes up and weirdly it also makes my eyebrows go up as well when I do it <laughs> can't do it without doing my eyebrows um great but that's that's one way you can do a pitch bend maybe depending on what type of drum you've got see if you can get that pitch bend you've got to push quite hard to get that so that's one way of getting a, a what we call a pitch bend um and um Costas, is there another way we can do it? Yes, I did something different. I was playing a bass note uh, in my darabuka and I was my left hand. I just put my left hand inside the drum. So I was playing with the air that is produced while I'm playing the drum. And I take the, my hand out. Amazing, yeah. So that's, that only works with these goblet type drums where um, you can see through that you've got a hole at the bottom. Obviously, if you're depending on what type of drum you've got, if it's got a head on the other end or if it's closing at the end, you're not going to be able to do that one. Um, Fred, how were you doing that? So I was using, I was putting my hand right in the middle of the drum and just pushing the skin in, so going like this. And then bringing it off again. Yeah, nice. So tell you what, shall we all have a go at rumble, whatever drum you've got, see if you've got to play rumble really fast, but also see if you can do some kind of pitch bend using one of those three different methods that we showed, because that's very much sort of characteristic of this start. And like Tim said, the pieces normally start with some kind of rumble. Shall we give it a go? Off you go. Go! Great, so tell you what, we're going to start our piece of North African music with a rumble. That's what we're going to do to start it off. And when I was counting one, two, three, four, stop, we're going to stop doing a rumble, but then we're going to go into our different rhythms. Now, we are going to create a piece of North African music that uses every rhythm that we have learnt during these North African things. Wow, a lot of different things. The first rhythm we learnt was the Rajaz rhythm. That was the one that Fred taught us. Fred, how did that rhythm go? It went, walk the cow, walk. and get those ghost notes in as well. Yeah, so that's our Rajaz rhythm. And then we had the Maksum rhythm, that's the one I taught. Maksum Egyptian, Maksum Egyptian. So remember that's just using that finger and that one. But you can add in the little extra decoration notes if you want, like remember Costa showed us on the jingles. And then we have the Malfuf. How does the Malfuf rhythm go, Tim? That goes like this, it goes play, Malfuf, play, Malfuf, play. Great. And then last of all, the Mass Moody. How does that one go, Costas? It goes boom, boom. Teka, teka, teka. Mass Moody, darbuka. Teka, teka, teka. Great. So we're going to put that all together. Now, the thing is, about these different rhythms, they all last different amounts of time. I think the shortest ones are the Maxum, Maxum, Egyptian, and the play, 
mouth. They last kind of just half a bar. So we're going to play each of those ones eight times. But the other rhythms, the Rajaz one and the Mas Moody, we're going to only play them twice. Um, but we're going to play it all together. And one rhythm is going to run into another. So we're going to start with the Rajaz. That's the one that Fred taught us. Then we're going to go to the Maxum, the one I taught. Then we'll do the Mal Fuf, the one that Tim did. And then we'll finish with the Mas Moody. So we're going to put it all together. And this is what's quite tricky to do, to shift from one rhythm to the next rhythm. Shall we start with the rumble first? Though? Ready? Here we go. Try and get some pitch bends. One, two, three, four. really tricky isn't it to keep shifting between those different rhythms I think we should try once more let's just try once more without doing the rumble on the beginning just to make sure we can get straight into the walk the camel that's our first rhythm are you ready here we are one two three here we go <clears throat> the camel. really really good it's quite slow though shall we try it faster for fun shall we give it another go because i've got it at a faster speed here we are it's, that was at 80 bpm bpm stands for beats per minute so they're at 80 pulse beats per minute let's try it at 90 here we are one two one two two and the maximum try it again once more but this time I'm not going to say aloud every time we change rhythms because you've got to try and count in your head how many times you do it Remember, we're doing the Rajaz rhythm the water camera rhythm twice we're doing the Maxim eight times the Malfuf eight times and then the Mas Moody the Dum Dum Teka 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 we do that twice so you've got to see if you can make sure you can change rhythm at the right time because you know when you're going to play this you know you wouldn't normally shout out loud the name of the rhythm you're playing you would have kind of as a drummer be able to keep that in your head should we give it another go here we go one two three here we go um. <laughs>
I think it sounds so much better without me speaking over the top of it. Can we do it faster? Yeah, because if we do it faster, see, that's when it gets re sounds really exciting, and that's when you imagine all the dancers will come and join in as well. So we're now going to up the tempo to 100 beats per minute, but shall we start with a little bit of a rumble to begin with? Shall we, shall we give that a go? Yeah, so here we go. A little bit of a nice rumble. So ready, off you go. That was at the same tempo as before, so we better do it again once more. This time, it is going to be faster. Here, let's have a ramble. Go! Can I hear a rumble? so much for joining us for these North African videos. Don't forget that you need to go and watch the, um, the, the quizzes. In fact, answer the questions in the quizzes that are on the website because again we've taught you lots and lots of things and it'd be great for you to go look at that and just check that you know everything. But you know this is not the end because on our website we have loads and loads of different styles of music from around the world, not just North African, we've got West African, we've got South American stuff, we've got some Asian stuff, we've got loads and loads of different stuff. So go and have a look at all of that and then have a start another style of drumming. But um, from us now, we're gonna say goodbye. Bye everyone. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.